Hey darlings. Before Dasha had time to enter the apartment, she immediately heard her husband's dissatisfied voice, finally quickly prepared something for dinner. Otherwise my stomach already hurts from hunger. Sighing, Daria took off her coat and boots and entered the room where Kirill was lying on the sofa in shorts. Hello, she greeted her husband. What took him so long? He asked, looking up from watching funny videos on his phone. Until six and it's almost hours for calls. Why didn't you answer? You know I was appointed deputy. The head of the labor department was added. So sometimes I have to stay late and not answer calls because I was so busy that my husband didn't have time to answer them. Does work always come first? Asked K.I.R.'s husband, offended. I'm very tired. Come on, let's not solve things. Work is work and I am a responsible person, and the fact that I don't have anything to eat at home is normal. You are responsible, you are mine, you are nothing. So it's Dasha's turn to be indignant. The refrigerator is full of food, you go there. I looked at what kind of food I meant not cheese and sausage and not store-bought dumplings, but normal human food, borscht, for example, cutlets with mashed potatoes, all kinds of salads. You know I have a stomachache. I need to eat well and not all kinds of rubbish, and in your opinion this is also normal the best food for an upset stomach ass Dasha, picking up a can of beer and bags of leftover croutons and chips from the floor. Has to do with this? It's a way to pass the time while my wife listens to the boss. I don't listen to anyone. I'm just doing my job. And she must do it well. Dasha tried to speak as calmly as possible, but she felt that a fight could not be avoided. And she also felt very tired. The last two weeks in her new position were not easy for Dasha. She had to do it. Work a lot. Stay late. Understand subjects that didn't concern her before. Delve into everything she didn't do. She wanted to disappoint the management that placed their trust in her by appointing her to a new position. Yes, the duties and responsibilities. It got much bigger but the salary also increased in proportion to that. And the money went. Now they really needed Dasha was increasingly thinking about a mortgage. Now she and Kirill lived in a small one-room apartment that Daria inherited from her grandmother. The young people had been married for almost three years. I thought about having a child, but first I wanted to improve living conditions. True, lately everything has been happening between the spouses, Disagreements have arisen more often and Dasha was no longer sure that Kirill would be a good father and the support of the family. They met when Daria had just graduated from college and got a job in a small company with a small salary. Kirill worked as a security guard and worked part-time as a taxi driver. They met that day. Dasha was visiting a friend who lived on the other side of the city and then the girl decided to use the taxi service. Being Kirill and the young people immediately liked each other. Kirill then did not accept money from Dasha for the trip in exchange for the fact that she would give him her phone number within three months. Kirill and Dasha got married and settled in this very small town, apartment where they lived until now, dreaming of improving their living conditions, but until now, it was enough to dream about it. If Dasha wanted the family's income to increase, then Kirill, on the contrary, did nothing for that from the taxi service he left, continuing to work and with a mortgage, for now all this. All that was left was to dream. One day Dasha asked why Kirill doesn't want to find another job with better pay. The young man said that so far suitable options have appeared. But in general, of course, he is looking for something. And he will definitely find something. After all, he is not unemployed. But his... He has the right to spend cool weekends as he wants at the dacha. Help with a car in the garage is often needed. Sometimes you need to dig and fish with friends. Kirill's life turned out to be far from ideal for a man's work. Like driving a nail or changing a tap, he could do it with his hands, as they say, in the right place. But everything else, cleaning, cooking was exclusively. The young man immediately stated that washing the floor the dishes and standing at the stove is delicious and a variety of food to eat at the same time. He loved Dasha very much at first. This state of affairs did not bother her much. 
She managed to do some dinner preparation in the morning before work. She prepared the food she made. I didn't get particularly tired and there seemed to be enough time for everything, of course. Sometimes I wanted to watch a TV series instead of cleaning or lying down reading an interesting book. Well, okay, you can have a day off, so Dasha reasoned, considering it normal for a woman, in addition to work, to carry everything with her while a man can spend time. After working on her own, Dasha grew up without her father. He died when she was six years old and her older sister's mother was no longer married. Dedicating herself entirely to her daughters, the girls grew up obedient and tried to help their mother in everything, learned early to cook and clean the apartment. Perhaps that's why Dasha was used to housework and the fact that everything depended on women's shoulders. She accepted the current situation in her family, but when she received a long-awaited promotion and was forced to stay late at work, her behavior began to harm. Kirill sometimes, returning home, fell from fatigue and dreamed only of eating something quickly and throwing herself into the crib in the stuffy air with pleasure, but instead she had to put on an apron and dance for an hour and a half among the stove, the refrigerator and the sink while Kirill was waiting for something delicious after dinner. I lay in front of the TV or watched jokes on the internet, yes, and from time to time I hurried my wife. But how much? You can worry, you can starve, and after dinner, Kirill said thank you, and went back to the couch without even thinking. Offer help to your tired wife in the kitchen, and today has come the very day Dasha's patience came to an end. Listen, K.I.R. Don't you think a year old man is capable of cooking his own food? Dasha asked. You don't want dumplings? So why was the man surprised? I should. Make cutlets myself, you're crazy, Dasha. Crazy you can see perfectly well that I come home from work tired. Sometimes I just don't have the strength to cook and you work three days. You have a carriage of free time well. Firstly, it's not a carriage, objected Kirill. On the first day, if I get enough sleep, okay, you get some sleep. Although you work in pairs and you yourself say that you and your partner take turns sleeping. So you don't go completely without sleep. Listen, Dash, you're trying. Make me look lazy, like all of you are such nice workers here. Your neck, you know, with a job like yours, you can find a second job to bring in more money for the family. Dasha could no longer be stopped, and she decided to tell Kirill everything that she thought she had accumulated. Ah, that's how you said it, little wife. Money doesn't mean enough to you. I quickly see that your worldview has changed, because at work you were promoted. So all your wings have grown. The crown doesn't bother you. It doesn't pressure what kind of crown Kirill I plow at work from morning until night. Then I plow at home, and you are lying on the sofa and breaking beer and chips I could prepare dinner. I would be happy if my husband greeted me with a hot dinner well. You know, become a cook I'm. Not going to be a man's business to stay at the stove. And for some reason, it was okay with you before because I wasn't really like that. I worked and managed to do everything and now the circumstances have changed so maybe why not this new position if you don't have time to do the housework what do you mean the salary is almost double? You don't want to earn more once again Kirill shouted. I'm leaving like a lazy person and a parasite. In short, I am. I understood you. The man quickly threw on jeans and a t-shirt, grabbed the phone and, without paying attention to Dasha's question where he was going, flew out of the apartment was left alone. Dasha began to think about fighting with her husband. Of course she didn't want to, but it was necessary to clarify the relationship a long time ago. Otherwise resentment and irritation would grow like a snowball. However, she didn't expect Kirill to react so abruptly and painfully to everything, and what should she do now? Call him and ask him to come back, or give him time to calm down in the end. If he values their relationship, then he will have to step forward because of frustration. Dasha has lost her appetite. She drank a glass of tea without anything and went to the bath. Stood for a long time under the stream of warm water, thinking about what had happened. Dasha really hoped that this would not have happened. And the young girl. I began to worry about where he could go to his parents. It's unlikely, after all. So he will have to explain to them why he left home and knowing his mother Tamara Pavlovna, it's better not to do this, most likely. 
It suits Kirill to go to one of his cavalry friends because he is the only friend of Kirill who has not yet started a family, lives alone in a two-room apartment and, of course, will always provide temporary shelter for an old friend, realizing that anxiety still doesn't let her. Sleep Dasha decided to call Kirill and ask him to come back. Home, or at least let her tell where he is and that everything is fine with him, but her husband did not answer her calls and was completely unavailable. Either he turned off the phone on purpose or the battery ran out so Dasha decided to call Valeria. She was almost sure he had his husband with him. No, Kirill not with me, replied Valera. What happened? Did you have a fight or something? Why are you looking for him? Yes, a little disagreement, Dasha. Replied, you don't know where he could be. No idea that no, I have been talking to him on the phone for a week. Anxiety took over Dasha even more. She had already started to scold herself for allowing her husband to leave the house and something would have happened. She would not forgive herself. If something happened to Kirill, she should have started this whole conversation. She could have chosen another time for this, not at night. At least Dasha tried to call her husband again, but he was still not available at home. Kirill returned only early in the morning. She asked, when he entered the room, is that really interesting to you? Actually, I was worried. Did I call you? Why did you hang up the phone? That's why you hung up so that I wouldn't bother you with my calls. Kirill was still very angry, and with all his appearance he showed that he didn't want to talk to his wife. Kirill, I didn't sleep that night and whoever bothered you would go to bed and sleep. Why worry about your lazy husband? Stop it now. Dasha started to get angry at her husband. Some kind of conversation between a blind man? and a deaf man. It turned out that Kirill didn't hear her and didn't understand him, and she didn't understand him either. Anyway, I want to take a shower, then I went to work, said the man, taking it. Take clean underwear out of the closet. I can find out where you spent the night. What difference does that make to your lover? If this bothers you, should breakfast be made in the hope that it will serve as a small boost toward reconciliation? Work. I'm going to eat. I'm going to buy something on the way. Why are you going to feed the parasite with anger in your voice? Kirill replied and disappeared into the bathroom after showering. The man quickly got dressed and left for work. Without saying a word to Jenya, Dasha felt completely defeated and empty. And she had a busy day ahead. She looked at the clock. She still had some time left. An hour and a half before leaving the house she will have time to get ready. And in about 20 minutes, if she doesn't have breakfast, she still has no appetite. So Dasha decided to lie down and get some sleep. Otherwise, which of her workers will fall asleep at her desk today? The young woman fell asleep as soon as her head touched the pillow. Daria woke up from a phone call and immediately realized with horror that she had overslept and was late for work. She answered the call Daria Igorevna. Where are you? She heard the stern voice of her boss, Eleonora Sergeevna. Sorry, the alarm clock is not on. I worked in half an hour. Dasha will answer me. Jumping out of bed okay. I'm waiting, said the boss and passed out around the apartment trying to deal with the panic. For something in her life? Especially for work, and also so responsible. This is what it means to spend a sleepless night. It would be better if she didn't go to bed. It's a shame she didn't have time. To put on makeup? So Daria quickly got dressed and put the makeup bag in her bag, hoping that at work she could get ready. The main thing is to get there quickly. While dressing in the hall, Dasha looked in the mirror. Yes, it's more beautiful to put yourself in a coffin, said the young girl, realizing that a sleepless night did not affect her appearance in the best way dark circles under her eyes. Eyes, dull complexion, and the need to hide all. This under a layer of makeup there is no time. Okay, I'll scare people, Dasha sighed, buttoning her boots, continuing to scold herself for falling asleep so soundly and not listening. The alarm clock Daria ran out of the apartment and ran to the bus stop, luckily for her. The bus arrived almost immediately, at least somehow she was lucky, thought Dasha, squeezing into crowded public transport. Sorry. Eleonora Sergeevna said to the breathless woman running to the boss's office, she was mentally ready to listen to her angrily. Speeches about how she is an irresponsible and disciplined employee, 
she was ready for the severe reprimand and deprivation of the award. However, Eleanor Sergeevna's words surprised her. Something happened to you in a rather gentle tone. Think for the first time? Daria, just by name. To be honest, you don't look well, yes. Family problems. But I promise that this, that is, I was late for the first and last time. This will not happen again. I just fell I only slept in the morning and I didn't hear the alarm signal. Forgive me. I'm very embarrassed. Daria babbled. Please calm down, Dasha. I haven't known you for the first day or even the first year. So I understand that if you were late for work for for some reason, because until today I have had absolutely no complaints about you. But I'm really ashamed we're all human they're robots. Everyone can make mistakes and be late and do something wrong. That's life. The main thing is that it's not part of the system because carelessness is far from being the best quality in a person and what kind of family problems are you having? Can I help you with anything? No thanks. I had a fight with my husband well. It's a young matter. We fought. Make up. Unless of course we are talking about something really serious about something that is difficult to forgive. I hope that no. Dasha nodded well. Okay. Daria Igorevna, I won't stop you. Start fulfilling your duties. Do not forget that today we have a meeting. Of course I remember, or Anora Sergeevna. Thank you very much. Dasha was incredibly happy that everything worked out and the stern boss did not scold her. She treated the current situation with understanding, and yet Daria thought about what it must be like to pick up my parents' old Soviet alarm clock that was left over from my grandmother because it rang back so that I could wake the dead and wind it up if I really didn't. Want to oversleep and be late? Work Daria could hardly wait for the end of the working day. The sleepless night had an extremely negative impact on her performance and even three cups of strong coffee did little to improve the situation. One thing made her happy today is Friday, and the end of week is coming at lunchtime. Daria called Elena. Older sister, Dashiell, what are your plans for the evening? Maybe we'll see each other. Let's talk for a long time. We haven't communicated accumulated news over the phone because you can't tell. Everything let's meet on good terms gladly, agreed Dasha. They really I haven't seen their sister for a long time, and I miss each other Dasha and Elena with. Childhood was very friendly Kirill did the daily shift today, and will only return tomorrow morning. So nothing and no one will stop Daria from spending the night. Since she wants to talk to her sister for advice and just talk to herself, she still can. If we do not understand what is right to do, does it make sense to save the family, or is it better to part while there are? No children. Kirill's behavior raised more and more questions, the answers to which we have not yet been able to get. Perhaps Elena will explain something from the outside. Maybe she knows better. My sister was very happy today. I'm taking Katia to spend the night with her mother. She loves spending the night with her grandmother. Yes, and the mother misses her granddaughter. So I have a completely free night and I. Voice, little sister? Something happened at night. I'll tell you everything. Okay. Who are we going to meet? On the way to work, I'm going to buy pizza and various sweets and tea. Us? Let's organize an evening of harmful things, we agreed. Luckily for Dasha, today, she didn't have to stay late at work. But on the contrary, she managed to leave early, and then Eleonora Sergeevna surprised her again. Daria Igorevna said to the boss after the meeting, You have been working overtime all week. So today you can leave an hour early, the weekend is coming, rest well, get a good night's sleep, and on Monday you will return to the office with renewed energy. Thank you, Dasha replied, but I still need to work on the report, the report can be submitted on Tuesday, on Monday you will finish everything calmly. Daria did not expect such leniency from her strict boss and scolded her for being late and even allowed her to leave work early. Miracles and only after work Daria went to the bakery. Located not far from her house, bought several goodies and went to prepare for Elena's arrival, the next meeting with her sister, the realization that tomorrow is Saturday and there will be no way to jump in peace, you know, Dash said Elena, then to listen to her sister. She wanted to tell you for a long time, but she hasn't dared yet. It's not in my rules to meddle in someone else's rules to give family and advice. But since you started talking about it yourself, your Kirill actually sat on your neck and shook his paws. What kind of work is this for a healthy young man? 
After three days he still has a lot of free time. That he spends as he pleases, lives for his own pleasure. After all it would be good the salary was decent but he earns much less than you. I started a conversation with him more than once about how it would be nice to find another job or get a second one. But he kept feeding me with promises if something suitable came along and then he would think see. You understand that he is feeding you with promises, but in fact he is completely satisfied with the work. He is not on duty for a dusty day. And then for three days he is doing what you want, and he doesn't help you at all around the house, he thinks. It's a shame to prepare food. It was necessary to immediately discuss these moments, even when I was preparing to marry him for some reason. It seemed to me that this was normal, Dasha sighed, that in all families it is the woman who does the housework. Yes, it's normal. This is if the man is the breadwinner and the woman is at home doing housework. If you both work, then household chores need to be shared in some way. And don't consider it shameful when Katyusha was very little. I didn't have time to do much. So Anton could wash and iron the house and the floor and prepare dinner. I did everything, but in Kirill's family it wasn't accepted like that. The mother-in-law still carries everything with her. The father-in-law doesn't do anything at home, apparently, and Kirill was also a servant, of course. Many families agree Elena wow. It's easy to remember said. Dasha, taking the phone out of her bag, called house since her mother-in-law Tamara Pavlovna Daria said, Hello good evening Tamara Pavlovna can be kind to someone but her husband, and what happened Dasha was alarmed I would like to know what happened to you I was there on business today. In the area where Kiryusha works, I decided to stop by and say a word to him. Word of mouth arrived. It means I saw what you saw Tamara Pavlovna, horror. Just what I saw Kiryusha eats instant noodles. It's because of his stomach problem. How do you understand this, Daria? You can't cook normal human food for your husband that he would take to work soup to cook chicken cutlets. Why does a man need a wife? The question is whether he is forced. Eat all kinds of rubbish, Dasha. Listened to her mother-in-law's angry speech and did not. She knew what to say in response to be rude. She was very well-mannered. But she did not want to tolerate injustice towards herself. Often allowed Tamara Pavlovna to speak about herself in an unflattering way. But now, as they say, it was. Boiling and now it was necessary for the mother-in-law to go see her son today to go to work and see how he eats these noodles. Because until today Dasha always collected a container of homemade food for her husband. And boiled soups and chicken cutlets. Everything that her mother-in-law Tamara Pavlovna just said, Dasha A said calmly. Kirill told him something about this. What should he have told me? That he married so badly that he is now forced to eat garbage. Dasha realized that Kirill didn't tell his mother about their fight. Pavlovna continued Dasha. It happened for the first time that I cook well, and you know this very well and Kirill always takes homemade food to work, but lately I haven't been able to keep up with everything. I have a new position. And until now I have to work more than normal. The position has not decreased, you know. Mother-in-law, you know, my dear. She takes care of her man. It's her duty as a woman. There's no point getting married if work comes first for you. And your husband's health comes second. It's not that easy. I don't I'm a robot, and there are only hours in a day. I work more than Kirill and him. I could do some of the homework so it would be easier for me. Daria was well aware of what she just said and what would follow. Well, she could no longer remain silent reaction that you are out of your mind, Daria. Aren't you ashamed to say such a thing Kirill is a man? Breadwinner? He shouldn't touch any of our women's work. Breadwinner here Dasha's patience finally ran out and there was no stopping her. He works every other day. Three days later he earns much less than me and spends all his free time on the couch or at his dachayo. You don't like that Kirill helps his parents. Why do you think more about yourself than about your husband? See, she gets a piece of bread. You will reproach my son now. And what only Kiryusha found? In you? Would it be better if such a good girl married Zanaka? He left her for you Tamara Pavlovna sorry. But I don't want to hear all this because Daria deliberately turned on the speakerphone. Everything is correct. Dasha supported her sister Elena. Now it's true I understand why Kirill grew up like that. 
his mother, and now he thinks that your wife should do the same, oh mother-in-law, I will never forgive everything I said and prepare breakfast for himself, but nothing came of it. He wanted fried scrambled eggs and got distracted, the man replied, continuing to disfigure the frying pan with a knife. Kirill revealed himself to be incapable of even scrambled eggs. Now, I just need to throw it away. I don't care about the frying pan. You can buy a new one. But what should we do with our family? Life Kirill, let's try to talk again just calmly without accusing ourselves on an empty stomach. I don't want to talk, murmured Kirill, okay? I'll prepare breakfast now and we'll talk calmly, said Dasha. Okay, Kirill replied condescendingly. So I'll lie down for a bit today was a night so that I almost couldn't sleep. Something happened at work, and whoever suffered from heartburn all night after eating pasta, probably as you know I ate pasta, your mother called yesterday. I see well, yes, she came to me. See yesterday. Alive said that Kirill left the kitchen Dasha, opened the window to ventilate the apartment and get rid of Harry's smell and began to prepare breakfast at that moment Kirill's phone rang which he had left on the kitchen table the man returned to the kitchen and picked up the phone but Dasha managed to notice that was appearing on the cell phone screen and who was this and then Dasha remembered Zena half an hour later breakfast was ready and Dasha called Kirill to the table she hoped that her husband had time to think everything through and maybe they could still come to some kind of decision and he won't have to break up the family but this connection seemed suspicious. Kirill ate with great appetite, drank two cups of coffee, then turned to Dasha. Now we can talk. I'm listening to you carefully. Okay, Kirill. And who is Zena's husband, Zena Tense? Why are you asking about her, Zena? That's your ex girlfriend. Well, yes, it was once, and you broke up with her, and also with Sveta Alia and Natasha. You never know who, but that's when you thought that I remained chaste before know you how. Did you know this in the first place? She called you just now. It was Zena who asked Dasha, ignoring her husband's question. Why did you understand? I saw Z. And that's another thing. This is a friend of Zinov. Does the name Zinovyev mean E? Why did you mark it so strangely? Indicated him in the contact list, damn. What kind of interrogation did Kirill get angry? Tires and about Zena too, Kirill tell me, honestly where did you spend that night when you left the house at Valerka's? I was it's not true I called Valeria, and he said he didn't see you well yes that's why. That I asked him not to tell you where I didn't want to talk to you Kirill I know you well and I see that you are lying to me please tell the truth where you spent the night what difference does it make to you Kirill continued to fume and for her fickle eyes Dasha understood well that her husband had something hidden from her Kirill. Because now you and I are husband and wife in your opinion, I have no right to know where you spent the night. But if I left the house and who knows where I would. Spend the night would you like Kirill was silent and Dasha became more and more convinced of her suspicions it seems that. This is Zena, about whom she knew nothing until yesterday, who appeared on the horizon for a reason Kirill why are you silent because I'm tired of your questions and suspicions in the hotel where I spent the night clearly. Such an answer will not suit you, but I can pretend I. You really need it, her forgiveness I don't know, maybe with Dasha's shoulders, but if Kirill and I make up, I will need to communicate from some way. You want to make peace with his parents for telling me. I already told you. I realize that Kirill is not very inclined towards dialogue. He considers himself right, and it's Alenka's fault. I really don't know what to do, Dasha. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted lately. And Kirill doesn't really listen to me. What should I do? Well, how can I do this for you? I definitely wouldn't tolerate a husband like that. But you decide for yourself. I understood one thing that Kirill is not ready to change for you. And either you have to accept him as he is, that is, continue carrying the whole house with him and be the main breadwinner in the family, or you need. The choice to separate from him is yours. Of course, Alenka, thank you for coming and listening to me, sister, I love you. So much you can always count on me and I will also say at the end, of course, you don't need to fish in the heat of the moment. I see how difficult it is for you now. Try talking to me again, Kirill. If he doesn't listen to you again, then make the decision to break up. It may hurt, but you have the right to. Be happy. Until then, I won't see the sparkle in your eyes. You look tired and unhappy. And you're not strong enough to carry everything with you. Well, bye. 
The taxi arrived, don't be sad the sisters hugged each other, and Elena left Dasha, cleaned the kitchen, took a shower, and went to bed. She thought she would fall asleep immediately considering the previous night without sleep, but as soon as she got to bed the sleep for some reason went away. Dasha lay down and replayed in her head her quarrel with Kirill and a conversation with her mother-in-law, who always treated her with some kind of disdain. It was not clear where it came from. Daria could never understand why Tamara Pavlovna did not please, but the fact that she not being in court understood it well, or rather, she was constantly forced to understand this. Endured because of Kirill but no more. That's why Dasha herself tried to cross paths with her husband's relatives as little as possible, only on major holidays. And Dasha also thought about Elena's words about the fact that she has the right to be happy. She is happy with Kirill, no. Perhaps Dasha has not felt this way for a long time. Her family life was completely falling apart, and this made her soul not at all happy. Daria always wanted to get married once and for all of her life, and therefore the idea of a possible divorce was still painful for her. And who is this Sanaka? Whom Kirill abandoned for her, Daria today learned for the first time about Kirill's existence. He never spoke about the fact that at the time he met Dasha, he had a girlfriend. Daria felt like a homewrecker and sincerely hoped that this unknown. A life without Kirill would eventually end well. The last thing Dasha wanted to be was the reason for someone's tears and worries to gradually overtake Daria's sleep, and she fell asleep so soundly that she didn't hear Kirill return from his shift. She woke up to the noise and smell of something burning. Frightened, Dasha jumped out of bed and ran to the kitchen. There she found her husband standing by the sink angrily scraping the burnt food from the frying pan with a knife. What happened? Dasha asked, although it was already clear that her husband was. Trying to. Believed you. Then let's talk about how we'll live longer and if you want a divorce, no. I'd like you to change what do you mean you lived with me for three years and? Now I suddenly discovered that I'm not who you need. How did I tell you before? I said I don't like everything about our relationship. I wish you would change jobs or get a second job, otherwise we won't be able to pay Cohen's mortgage. We actually need that mortgage. Long-term slavery? There is an apartment and that's okay. I'm happy with everything, but I thought we would have... Someday there will be children and there won't be enough place. Even a child needs a separate children's room personally. I'm not ready for fatherhood. While Dasha understood more and more clearly that she hoped in vain that she and Kirill could calmly talk and come to an agreement. Some kind of compromise, the husband didn't want to hear that Elena was right when she said that Kirill is not going to change. He is completely satisfied with the life he lives. That is, you don't think you need to earn more. I have enough. Okay, let's say. Are you ready to help me around the house? Dasha asked, understanding what clutches at straws. Furthermore, today's experiment of preparing breakfast alone, Kirill failed miserably. Aren't you asking too much of me? My husband was indignant, getting up from the table. Let's leave everything as is or serve. Divorce I'm going to sleep anyway with these words Kirill left the kitchen leaving Dasha alone with dark thoughts and great disappointment. It turns out that he doesn't care how offensive it was to hear this while she is worried and trying to do at least something to save the family. Her husband declares that it doesn't matter, but then everything is very clear. They have nothing to keep when Dasha cleaned the kitchen and entered the room. She saw that Kirill was sleeping. She sat down next to her and looked closely at her sleeping husband. They had only been married for three years and he changed a lot. His appearance improved. His belly grew. Dasha tried to understand what she feels for him now. She married him for love. But then she thought that now there was a real man next to her, with whom she could count in difficult times, who would take care of her and the children, when they would appear, and what happens all this time. She took care of him and he took it for granted. Only she invested in the family and their relationship. Kirill simply lived for his own pleasure, but they didn't have a real family. As sad as it is to realize this, which means the only way out is to get a divorce and let everyone go their own way. In addition, Kirill is clearly hiding something from her, deceiving her. Dasha had no doubts about this. Stay at home next to her husband, whose relationship was already on the verge of divorce, 
Dasha didn't want to and decided to go shopping yesterday. The bonus had just arrived, so why not treat herself to some new clothes? The young woman thought. She quickly got ready and left the house, deciding that when he returned he would tell Kirill that they were better after all. Getting divorced while walking through the mall, Dasha suddenly noticed that some unknown girl or acquaintance was looking intently at her. Dasha strained her memory, but she could not remember if she had seen this girl before. Then why was she like that, as if? Did she recognize her? And at that moment the girl went to Dasha's side hello. You Daria Romanova. Asked a stranger yes, it's me and you excuse me. Where do you know me from my name is Zena. Did I meet Kirill, your husband? We were together until he met you. See how to say that Daria was studied. Nothing to say is normal. I just went shopping. Nothing to say when Kirill met you. He kept meeting me for some time, and then I found your photo on his phone. That's why you know me, Zena. Since we met, I will say that I didn't know anything about you. Kirill never told me he had a girlfriend at the time we met him. And now what do you want from me? I will never believe you just decided to meet me, Daria. Why do you need Kirill? You are his. You don't appreciate and respect anything, and you probably don't like it anyway. Dasha's amazement grew at a rapid pace. And why did you make such conclusions? Zena Kirill himself told me that this is how you continue to meet. No. That is, we meet we only met once, two days ago. Kirill was kicked out of the house and he came to me very interestingly. That is, Kirill told you that I kicked him out and also that I don't respect him and I don't appreciate him. What else did he do to you? Tells about our family life. A lot of things, you are despotic. Forcing him to do household chores he. After all, a man with men cannot do this Dasha listened to Zena and did not know how to react. On the one hand, she even thought it was funny that Zena was talking complete nonsense Dasha vividly painted such a picture in her imagination of the unfortunate Kirill from morning to evening mopping the floor preparing food and she, a despotic wife waving a rolling pin and demanding that he can better cope with household responsibilities, is very funny. But on the other hand, that was all Zena said. Of, in Kirill's words, it was he who presented the family relationship in this way. And to top it off, Dasha turns out to be yours. I also kicked you out of the house. That is, on Thursday Kirill spent the night with you. Dasha clarified, and Zena responded defiantly, and today when I saw you I realized that I couldn't remain silent. You stole Kirill. From me, you destroyed our love for him. And you not only didn't make him happy, but and you made fun of him so listen Zena Dasha realized that she can no longer and doesn't want to listen to all this nonsense nobody is making fun of your Kirill yes. I will repeat for yours because we are getting divorced so that you can take Kirill for yourself and surround him with the care and attention he deserves. Getting divorced, unable to contain her joy, exclaimed Zena. It's true. It's true and thank you, Zena. Thanks to the conversation with you. I have no doubt that we are not on the same path with this person. Bye, bye, replied Zena, still stunned by the joyful news, and Dasha ran home to her. I wanted to end their family life with Kirill as quickly as possible, get to know her, finally put everything in its place. Such a life partner is definitely not even necessary. To his surprise, Kirill did not deny and dodged, but admitted that he actually spent the night with his ex-girlfriend because he knew that Zena was still in love with him. And you see, after a fight with his wife, he really wanted the man to pack his things and leave Dasha's apartment, agreeing that they were too different to be together. In general, they broke up without a scandal, and this at least calmed Dasha down a little. She was tired lately of all these family quarrels, worries, and misunderstandings about what to do next. Because she I wanted to. Save the family until the end. And when it became clear that. She must save her. Then. Nothing immediately became easier already on Monday Dasha and Kirill filed for divorce. You won't even ask where I live now. The man asked his still wife. I'm not interested Dasha answered. And it was true she didn't really care where or with whom now Kirill Zena, or with someone else or lives with her parents anyway, they quickly divorced Dasha and Kirill because they had nothing to share, no children, no jointly acquired property. The spouses were left alone at work and spent their free time, as she wanted, becoming more and more convinced that what I did was absolutely right. I will never get married again. I even shared it with my sister. 
I was so burned by Kirill that it's better to be alone than to let into my life again a person with whom I will feel like a cornered horse and don't let him and let the one with whom you feel like a woman and how to guess when I met Kirill. I didn't suspect that he would become so selfish and lazy, but I don't think you will step on the same rake twice, sis. You will draw conclusions from your previous bad experience. Family life two months after the divorce, Dasha was invited to the birthday of her boss, Ilyanura Sergeevna, who turns and decided to organize a luxurious party for this occasion in one of the best restaurants in the city. Daria was surprised by her boss's desire to see her among his guests, but of course the invitation was accepted because Eleanor Sergeevna had an adult son, Dasha knew, but she never crossed paths with him. And on her birthday, she met Dennis and sympathy was born between the young people. They exchanged numbers, phones, and the next day Dennis called Dasha. She really liked the young man, but she was afraid that her boss would suddenly react harshly or that Anora Sergeevna would like the fact that her son was dating her subordinate and Dasha thought that it would probably be better immediately break off this relationship before it went too far. In addition, Dennis lived and worked in another city, which he left the day after his mother's birthday. However, at work everything was calm, with no dissatisfaction on the face or in the face. Boss's behavior, Daria did not notice. So while Dasha and Dennis continued talking on the phone for a long time almost every night, and then Dasha got sick, she simply had a high fever and was forced to take sick leave at first, she really just wanted to lie down and stay at home for a few days and go to work, but Eleanor Sergeevna did not allow it. No, Dasha cannot. There is no question of going back to work in a few days. You cannot joke with your health. Take sick leave or after as long as you need. And work is not a wolf. He won't run into the forest get well. Thank you, Dasha said again. I noticed that the boss simply called her by name and addressed her. It was the first time and it seemed strange. Even though Dasha was old enough to be his daughter, the boss always addressed her because Dasha was lying under a thick blanket. Was still freezing, shaking and trying to fall asleep she hadn't been so sick for a long time. Finally Daria dozed off, but was woken up by the doorbell ringing. Who could it be? She thought. Getting out of bed with difficulty, she warned her sister and mother not to come so as not to get infected. At home there were the necessary medicines and food but I simply didn't have the strength to cook anything for myself, and I didn't have an appetite either. Dasha opened the door and couldn't believe what she saw. Dennis was smiling. Dot in one hand, he held a bouquet of flowers, and in the other, a heavy package. He said hello to a young man, extending flowers to Dasha. You will be the one to let me in. Thank you. Come in. I found out from your mother that you were sick and there are only a few days left until my vacation. So I came to you, if you don't mind, I will take care of you, after all I am a doctor. How unexpectedly Dasha still didn't believe it. What was happening Dennis came from another city for her to take care of herself. There are men like that in the world suddenly Dasha suddenly became ill and she felt that a little more and she would lose consciousness. She realized this and Dennis he threw a bag on the floor and I took Daria in my arms and laid her on the bed. Lie down and don't get up, you are very weak. I'll give you some medicine now, he said. Try to sleep and I'll cook. Everything's fine, Dasha replied, feeling that she was. Already falling asleep, she was really very weak. Daria woke up three hours later and immediately smelled some aroma. She didn't immediately. I realized what was happening but quickly remembered Dennis. Is he really here or was it a dream? Or maybe she was hallucinating because of the high temperature and then her gaze fell on a bouquet of flowers in a vase on the coffee table. Really everything in reality? Dennis asked with a smile. Looking around the room, how are you feeling so much better already? Finally returned. His temperature had dropped. Dennis now said, I will feed you. Dasha ate a dish with great appetite. What is nothing more delicious? Did you really prepare this soup yourself? She asked, involuntarily remembering Kirill's burnt scrambled eggs. Yes. Why are you so surprised I love cooking and soups are like that in general my subject is very tasty thanks to Dennis's care. Daria recovered quickly and already a week later she was almost completely healthy and very much in love with Dennis's appearance. 
True love entered her life and Dasha realized that happiness is not just love, but also love. Feel loved. Watching with your chosen one in. In one direction, take care of each other. Take care and understand two months later, Dennis and Dasha got married. The young man returned to his hometown for the sake of his beloved and our heroine found not only a wonderful husband, but also an amazing mother-in-law. Strict at work, Eleonora Sergeevna turned out to be a very sincere and fair person. I always liked you and thought how great it would be if my son had such a wife and my daughter-in-law. The law admitted Eleonora Sergeevna Daria when they once walked together with. I was so happy with little Nikita, Dennis, and Dasha's son. When you got divorced and decided to invite you to your birthday, I felt like everything would work out for you with my son and it did, because that's how life works. You never know where you will find where you will lose. The last thing Dasha expected was that one day she would consider her strict boss as her second mother. And Daria has not remembered Kirill for a long time and does not know anything about him. The truth is that one day, she accidentally met her ex-mother-in-law Tamara Pavlovna on the street and wanted to say hello to her, but she turned away. I did it, I didn't notice, or I didn't recognize Dasha, and Dasha wasn't upset at all. Thank you for being with me until we meet again.